Alright, so as I'm sure most of you guys already know, we got a massive, massive data download on Global this morning. Version Z has officially dropped, and Dokkan, as we know it, has changed forever. So in today's video, we're going to go over everything that we got from this data download. But real quick, before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. He's very close to 2,000 followers, so if you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and get right into it. So uh, the first thing we have is a little promo video for the new Fizz LR Janemba on Global. So let me just pause the music here and uh, let's check this out. Okay, here we go. And there you have it. So after a ridiculously long delay, Fizz LR Janemba is finally on global. Um, you'll probably see a summoning video from me a little bit later in the day, but I'll probably just be doing that one video because as I said in my pass or pull video from a few days ago, um, his banner is really bad. It's a really bad banner. We have much better banners coming soon. So if I were you, I wouldn't uh, go too crazy. I mean. I said most people should just straight up skip the banner. I still feel that way. But if you must summon, only do a few multis, okay? Because it's really not worth it. But anyways, uh, there's the promo video. We have some assets for the unit itself. This is the SSR Janemba. There's the TUR, the LR, as well as the uh, Rage Mode transformation. And from there, we have some assets for the new Fizz LR Goku. So this is the free to play Goku that everybody can get after you complete the uh, panel missions for version Z. So this is the SSR with the Goku and Gohan, and then there's the TUR Goku, and finally we have the LR Goku. And later on we'll talk about exactly what he does. So uh, that's the free to play LR Goku. And then we also have his Dokkan Awakening medals right there from the a new version of the Saiyan Saga story event. And uh, we have some, oh, the uh, tutorial Piccolo and Goku. So these are the Piccolo and Gokus that you'll see when you do the tutorial for the first time, when you start the game. Obviously, if you um, aren't a new player, then you won't see them. I don't believe there's any way to get them at the moment. Although I can see them releasing these guys as like free to play units at some point in the future, hopefully. Okay, so from there, we have the Extreme Z battle for LR Majin Vegeta. If you guys check the news, he is dropping in about uh, six to seven days from now. So about a week from now, we'll be getting this Majin Vegeta Extreme Z battle. I'm super excited for it because Majin Vegeta, obviously, like most people, is one of my favorite characters in the entire franchise and uh, becomes a monster with the EZA. So definitely hyped for that and we also have the extreme z awakening medal for the majin vegeta and uh, here are the new stages for the once again new slash revamped i guess i mean a revamp is not exactly the right word um just a new version a new version of the saiyan saga story event for the db story and uh I'll just give you guys a quick look at the various stages. They're pretty standard. This is stages one to four. We have stages uh, five to seven, as well as stages uh, nine to 12. And that's gonna be a good amount of free dragon stones for everybody. Um, I believe it's two difficulties per stage. So at least 24 dragon stones and maybe a few more from uh, the missions as well. So that is Saiyan Saga story event. We also have a new support memory with Goku and Piccolo. And then we have the uh, new hidden potential stages. And as you can see, the layout is very, um, what's the word? It really just makes more sense, I guess. So yeah, these are the uh, new stages for the hidden potential orbs. And then we have colored 
category labels. And while this is not really life changing, um, I would have much preferred if they just listed all of the categories in uh, alphabetical order to make them easier to find. But uh, I guess this is a step in the right direction, maybe? I don't really know. Just list the categories in alphabetical order, man. Like, I don't know what the point of this is. I guess it can help a bit, but it would have just been so much easier to do the alphabetical thing, right? And uh, after that, we have a new ticket slash trade jewel. So the new trade jewel is this, um, I don't know what the official name is, but I'm gonna call it the green slash turquoise dragonstone. And this is actually available through a paid pack in the stone shop. But the deal is actually really good. So for uh, people in Canada, in Canadian prices, it's $35. I'm assuming in the US, it's like 25, maybe a little bit more. But in terms of what you're getting from that pack, you're getting this stone, which allows you to trade for one of the better LRs in the game, like STR UI Goku or LR Kalen Khalifla, and so on and so forth. And you're also getting 100 dragon stones and a bunch of other stuff. So the price to value, like price to stuff you're getting, is actually very good for that pack. So I do recommend if you are a free-to-play player, or rather, not a free-to-play player, if you're a pay-to-play player, then picking up that pack wouldn't be a bad idea. And we also have this uh, premium legendary summon ticket, which I believe is for the uh, Janemba banner. And it's also a paid pack in the stone shop. And uh, from there, we have some oh, new movies. I think these are for the tutorial. So let me just pause the music once again. And uh, let's check these out. I'm not gonna lie, that looks really, really good. And then we have uh, five more, I think. So this is... Uh, oh, this is the intro to the tutorial, the updated tutorial. I think it's the same as before. I don't see any differences between like this video and the old tutorial intro. So I guess this was not really updated, which is fine, you know, it looks good still. And then the next one is uh, also for the tutorial. So here we go. Okay, so it's just uh, Goku and Piccolo flying away, but once again, looking very, very clean. And video number four is with uh, Kid Gohan. Okay. So this is pretty much just uh, taken directly from the new LR Kid Gohan's animations, which is totally okay. And then movie number five is uh, from the LR Nappa and Vegeta um, exchange animation. <clears throat> oh, so brutal, man. The way his body gets all messed up, like contorted and everything. It's hard to watch, man. Hard to watch. Okay. Um, so lastly, we have this video, which, uh, I'm not actually sure what this is, so let's check it out.
That is really cool. That is really cool. So I'm assuming this is actually an opening to, I mean, it says tutorial OP here. So maybe it's like at the end of the tutorial that they play this, or maybe at the beginning of the um, Saiyan Saga story event, possibly. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure when we see this, but that's very cool. I like that a lot. So those were the six videos from the data download. And then we have uh, some non-translated assets. So these guys are not ready for release yet, but they're most likely going to be released very soon. And uh, the assets that are not translated right now are the uh, Fizz, Super Saiyan, Heart Virus Goku, along with the um, Dokkan Fest AGL Trunks. So this guy is probably going to be the next Dokkan Fest unit. On Global, the uh, Goku is the side unit on his banner. And then we also have the uh, Super Saiyan transformation for the trunks. We have some uh, Extreme Z battle slash Extreme Z area events coming up soon. For the uh, free to play future androids, this is the Tech 17, the SDR 18, and on top of that, the Prime Battle LR Super Saiyan trunks will also be getting his EZA sometime within the next couple of months. Once again, these are untranslated assets, which means that. They're not going to be for this celebration, but most likely for the next celebration on Global. And uh, after that, we have the uh, untranslated medal for the um, STR, I think, Android 13, and also the Fizz 14 and 15. And from there, we have the Peton Battle Series 4 pack and a bunch of new story assets. So we got a uh, Super Saiyan Goku, Base Goku, Goku and Gohan, another Goku, and then we have uh, some more Gokus, uh, Goku and Gohan, another Goku, we have Shirtless Goku, another Shirtless Goku, I have no idea what the hell this is. Yeah, what is that? It's like a heart, kind of? But like, why is the quality so low? Okay, I don't know what this is, uh, maybe he put that in there by mistake. But uh, there you go. And then we have some uh, Kid Gohan assets as well. We have some Krillin assets. And then some Piccolos, uh, some Chiaotsus, and then also some Yamchas, uh, a new Raditz, a couple of Nappas, and some more Nappa, a lot of Nappas apparently, a new Cyberman and some more Piccolo and Piccolo and Gohan and some more Kid Gohans. <laughs> it's a lot of assets, man. Some uh, Vegeta assets as well and some Team Trunkses, some uh, Bulma and Master Roshi and we also have some new backgrounds. So there you go. And after that, we have these new common assets which look like tutorial screens for new players and uh, you'll see these during you know data downloads and stuff like that so this first page talks about uh, how links work this one is talking about key spheres this one is for support items um, this is talking about uh, different types of units in the game and then we also have one talking about uh, guard to take less damage uh, this one is about attack order, so how attacks go from left to right. And uh, this one is for all oh, type advantages to take less damage if you you know tank with a unit with type advantage. And uh, this is about rainbow key spheres and how they connect you know the different key spheres along the board to get more key. And what else do we have? Um, oh wait, hold on. This is about rainbow key spheres. So what is this one then? Take advantage of neighboring key spheres with the same color. Huh, interesting. Okay, so it's kind of the same thing, these two pages. And then this one is, oh, telling you how uh, same type key spheres recover HP, and the higher your defense is, the more HP you recover. And this was stuff that like people had to figure out themselves before, right? Like they never told us about you know the relation between like your defense and HP recovered and stuff like that. So it's nice that they're actually telling players about the mechanics of the game right so definitely something we should have had from the start but at least we have it now right so those are all of the uh tutorial screens 
And then these are panel mission banners. So promotion for the new panel missions. It says complete all the missions to awaken Goku into an LR. Uh, awesome rewards can be obtained upon completion or completing board one of the greatest warrior. Awesome rewards can be obtained upon completing board two of the greatest warrior. And awesome rewards can be obtained upon completing board three of the greatest warrior. And uh, this one says, Awesome rewards can be obtained upon completing board 4 of the Greatest Warrior. Awesome rewards can be obtained upon completing board 5. And all the missions of the Greatest Warrior have been completed. Awakened you are a soaring flying Nimbus Goku into LR Furious Counterattack Goku. So there you go. Uh, that's it guys. Those were essentially all the assets that we got from the status download, I'm sure. There are more things that he just didn't include here, but for the most part, these are all the key important things from this uh, major update. Um, yeah, version Z is officially here, guys. As I said, the game has changed. There are a lot of differences between, you know, pre-version Z and post-version Z, and uh, most of them are for the better. Obviously, I wish they would have focused on a few things that people have been asking for for a very long time like you know putting the categories in alphabetical order and also um, updating the friend system but hopefully those are coming up in the near future and uh, yeah that is today's data download it was definitely a lot of stuff but we got through it and uh, oh real quick before we go let's uh, check out the details for the new free-to-play is LR Goku and I would say that this unit is not amazing but he is very very good especially for a free-to-play unit that most people can get very easily right so his leader skill is all types Q plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 59% 12 key super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and his 18 key super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes Mega Colossal Damage. His passive is attack and defense plus 59% plus an additional attack and defense plus 59% when performing a super attack. All allies keep plus 2 and attack and defense plus 30% plus an additional key plus 3 and attack plus 59% when attacking extreme class enemies. He also has a passive skill, or sorry, he also has an active skill, which uh, is Kaioken. It raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage and it can be activated starting from the 5th turn from start of battle once only. His links are Z Fighters, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, Experience Fighters, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. His categories are Low Class Warrior, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, and Accelerated Battle. And his passive is calculated separately, which means that when he's performing a super attack, he's actually getting attack and defense plus 200.51%. And then when he's attacking extreme class enemies, he's getting attack plus 294.32%. So overall, a very impressive free-to-play LR. Um, definitely worth you know getting, especially because you're getting a lot of stones as well for those panel missions. And uh, that's it, guys, for today's video. Thank you so much to Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all this stuff. I hope we get him to 2K followers sometime either today or over the course of this week because he deserves it for sure and uh, thank you to you guys for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you are enjoying all the new stuff that version z has to offer and uh, as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.